On the night of October 4, there was a drone attack on the Voronezh region of Russia. The Russian press reported on this. A fire broke out at the Ananef Product oil base as a result of an attack by a Ukrainian kamikaze drone. The governor of the Voronezh region, Alexander Guzov, said that the air defense system was activated and the drones were shot down. The remains of the drones hit a fuel tank in the territory of the oil base and caused a fire. No casualties are reported. On the same day, a fire broke out at an oil base in the Perm region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. The cause of the fire, which covers an area of 10,000 square meters, is unknown. Nineteen equipment were brought to the area to extinguish the fire. It is said that there are no casualties. Вот он, прям надо мной пролетает, урод. Прям вниз, вниз, вниз в кибаз летит. Вот это вот дела. Вот так вот, ребят, бомбят. Columnist from the Information Resistance Group of Ukraine, Alexander Kovalenko, reported on an unsuccessful counter-attack by the Russian Armed Forces invaders in Vovchansk, Kharkiv region, Obos Revitel media outlet reports. It is worth noting that the Russians recently lost control of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, which, according to Kovalenko, deprived them of the opportunity to expand their zone of control in this direction. They tried to launch desperate assaults, but things ended very unsuccessfully for them. The Russians are trying their best to recapture this plant and other lost territories, losing a large number of equipment and manpower. They collected the MTLBs and BMPs they had and sent them on a suicidal mission to recapture positions from the Ukrainian armed forces. As a result, last Monday, a large number of Russian hardware and human resources were destroyed. In fact, the enemy lost an entire company during this attempt at a counter-attack. The expert emphasized. He added that Ukrainian defenders will soon continue to liberate the captured territories near Vovchansk and other areas in the north of the Kharkiv region. Kovalenko expressed the opinion that the Ukrainian armed forces may soon advance in the area of the village of Hatice and gain a foothold there. The expert also emphasized the fact that in the near future, the Ukrainian defense forces are unlikely to have the opportunity to completely displace the Russian occupiers from the north of the Kharkiv region. However, advances by Ukrainian troops in Vovchansk are possible as early as this month. Forbes publication says that a week after Ukrainian commandos cleared the last few Russian troops hunkering in the besieged P-51 
PJSZ Volchansky Chemical Aggregates Plant in Volchansk, in northern Ukraine's Kharkiv Oblast, the Russians sought revenge. It ended in disaster for the Russians. Assaulting Ukrainian positions northwest of the 30-building chemical campus, the equivalent of half a Russian battalion, 17 MT LB armored tractors, three tanks and no fewer than 100 infantry crashed into a wall of Ukrainian firepower. The Ukrainian Army's 57th Motorized Brigade blasted the Russian assault group with hovering drones, dropping grenades, among other weapons, most likely. When the smoke cleared, 16 MTLBs and a tank lay wrecked. There were literal piles of dead and mangled Russians around the smoldering hulks. Now the guys are finishing off the remaining infantry. One Ukrainian blogger reported 